Geek for Hire here. Just want to let you know that uh, if you ever change your Apple ID password or something like that, you're probably going to get the flashing yellow light of death on your Airport Extreme. So, uh, well, anyways, uh, well, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So, usually, what you'll see after you do that, your uh, Airport Utility is going to come up and say, "Hey, dude, there's something wrong." Okay, well. Let me see. So, I gotta go into my airport here. All right. Okay, we have an unrecognized Apple ID or password. So, if you have logged off of it or something like that, or changed your password, updated your Apple ID, this is what you're gonna get. And I'm gonna. It's kind of simple to figure it out, um, especially on your MacBook Pro. It just makes it so much easier. So um, you can either ignore it and go about your business. I don't recommend that. Let's just go ahead and edit this bad boy. So um, everything looks fine other than oh, my Apple ID uh, for back to Mac. That's the problem. So uh, let me edit that. And we'll sign back in. We're going to validate the password. Oops. You have to enter the password properly. Okay, got a green status. Looking good. I'm going to click update. And it's going to reset everything. And yes, I want to continue. So we're back. The airport extreme is back online. We got a green light and everything is happy. So now, since we have extra peripheral devices, the airport express, which is my repeater for the house, has to get updated. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. We have an unrecognized Apple ID. I'm going to edit. Okay edit that bad boy make sure I did it right the first time alright looking good so we have a green light and we're gonna update it rock and roll we are back online this is geek for hire geeking out